Hi everyone, welcome back to our Mass Monday. If it's your first time, welcome. So today we are gonna make these envelope, junk mail envelope pockets. It has one, two, and three pockets in it. And then it can be glued in, of course, as a pocket, so it would have four. Um, <clears throat> the original, I got the idea from a friend on the channel, one of our family members, and she sent it to me. I cannot remember. I believe this came from Pinky, but I could be wrong. Um, it's been a while, and I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, she did her front with collaging and some book page. You could do any type of paper you want, of course, because, you know, our junk, junk mail uh, fun is just that. It's just fun. <laughs> I have a pressing, what do they call these? I don't even know, um, to indent. And I'm going to use that to go around my windows if I want to do it like this. Okay. And I've brought along some selection of scrap of paper and some carbon paper. I have a small pair of scissors and a larger pair. I have my bone folder. You can use your scissor handles. And I have pulled out a few, um, images to put in the background of the envelopes and so let's get started okay let's see. i have brought one two three four i have six seven i had eight i had started the video before and um yeah i ended up <laughs> i ended up doing stuff wrong so i was like you know what i'm gonna start this baby over okay this envelope i'm not liking actually I'm going to go ahead and I'll do this. I'm going to put glue right here on this part and then here. <clears throat> and glue it down. But what I'm going to do for this area, just so it's sealed up, is I'm just going to put a piece of tape. And that should do the trick, I would think without gluing this part shut because I want to trim this little edge off here. And I'm just running as you could do this with your paper cutter, of course. Just going along that edge. I trimmed off just that little tiny bit. And so I'm going to go ahead and do another one tracing the the edge here. And I think I'll use, let's see, what paper? We gotta decide what paper. I kind of like that I used all the same paper. I never ever have done that. I've always used different papers. But I just kind of thought that was fun. I think I'll use this one. I really love this paper from um, Hobby Lobby. It's one of the papers I get from there. <clears throat> and so what I want to do is I'm going to put this so that I know my edges are, I need to do this. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, I want this to be able to wrap around and I'll show you what I mean. What I did with this one was I wrapped these edges so it's very clean looking, you know. I even wrapped the inside and even on into the inside of the pockets on two sides so that it just reinforces it and it, and it looks nice, you know. This part, of course, is going to be um, glued to the to the book, to the journal. However, if you wanted, you could also run enough paper to wrap the inside of this part, too. But I just want to make sure that I have enough, I have this settled in the right spot where I can just wrap it around. I liked how it turned out. It took a little bit of extra uh, work. To do it like that but that's okay now hopefully that works yes good 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 <clears throat> and we're just gonna take I'm gonna use these smaller scissors to go inside and trim this window This will take me a second. 
but it's worth it when you're done because you have this clean or relatively clean. I always distress around my envelope and around my window because uh, the window on the envelope and then the window on the paper because that way where it's gone uneven or you've cut it wrong or you've got some spots that are showing through, it looks, you know, kind of blends in. And I'll show you what I mean in a sec. If you don't know what I mean, I'm sure most of you do. But if you're newer to junk journaling and you haven't done one of these, you might not know. So, yeah. Almost there. Yay. Good. That one came out pretty even. <coughs> So when I glue this down, now all I'm going to do and see right here, it's, well, actually not too, too bad. There's a tiny bit here off, I can see. Maybe I'm turning it a little bit the wrong way. That might be it. I'm not sure. Let's see. Not bad, but I will be distressing around the envelope. So you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm just gonna flip this over. Grab my larger scissors and I'm gonna do a cut. And I'm gonna go ahead, I won't be using this whole piece, but I'm gonna cut to the end, just be easier to manipulate if I do it like that. And so what I did earlier was, I went ahead and decided where I wanted to fold and I'm going to go ahead and cover some of the window because I want the pocket to be, you know, a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna, and this is where I like to use my bone folder and this, this envelope puckering a little bit for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to force this paper to fold if it will. Let's see. Yeah, this one looks kind of arguing with me, isn't it? This top portion. I'm not really sure why. You know how paper does. Anyway, but point being, now I'm going to go ahead and use my or use my my window as a measuring point. And then I'm going to fold this paper up past the pocket because I don't need the paper to come all the way down. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and trim this part off. Okay. So now I have this piece that I'm going to be using down here. And that's how I ended up with this one, like it is. I used the bottom part of the paper. So now we can go ahead and distress around this window. A little bit of vintage photo. And that way, if any of the white shows, it won't matter because you've covered it with the brown and that's going to show up. And then I also go in to the inside of the paper and I distress here to get rid of that white you know, that inner layer of white and also so that if the distressing on the envelope is showing it's going to blend into the piece of paper so at least that's my thinking <laughs> any excuse to distress right you guys that's me you know me okay so there we go now <clears throat> now, so that I can get movement with this, <clears throat> I'm, I apologize, I've got a frog in my throat. I'm going to use my tacky glue to go around here. And then I'm going to use the glue on here. Okay. 
Hopefully I didn't go overboard too much with down here on the bottom. I didn't measure exactly where that paper is landing, but it'll be okay. I'll wipe it if it did. Okay. Now, go ahead and lay this down. And like I said, we can also do, uh, I don't know if I'll get to today, but I'll We'll see about doing one with some collaging around the around it just in case because not everybody has carbon paper and I'm aware because I did not have carbon paper for a very long time and uh, yeah I finally ordered it when I saw somebody using it like this and I was like you know what that would make my life so much easier in the long run when I do envelopes <laughs> so and I'm gonna pop just a little more glue right here miss this spot okay now, what I did was this. I brought this down here and used my edge to evenly <clears throat> fold that over. Hopefully I did it right. Nope, it's a little bit off. Let me do that a little bit better because I don't want to, for whatever reason, my envelope's kind of folding in on me. I don't want that. There we go, okay. So now we have the top. And I'm going to go ahead and do the side. And I kind of ended up doing this like I do my journal covers um, a little bit. You'll see what I mean in a sec. Okay. I know why it's doing that. The pap This paper from Hobby Lobby is not the super thin paper that you get in the, the um, scrapbooks. And so this paper is causing that envelope to want to fold a little bit. So, just so you're aware, if you're using thicker paper, that might happen. Okay, so I'm going to make a little incision right here, an incision, a little cut right there, okay? And then, <clears throat> pardon me, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this corner down. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and use my art glitter glue because it's quicker to dry for me. And I'm going to put some glue on this corner. Okay, and then on this side, I'm going to put the glue right here for now. You'll see in a sec, I will be uh, using, and then we use that edge and fold that corner in like that. And then now I'm just going to do this. And this gives me those nice rounded edges, okay? Just like, or nice squared off edges, like when we do our journals, but it gives us a nice edge for our pocket. So it looks clean. You don't have paper hanging over or, you know, cutting the paper off and all that. I just thought it was kind of a cool way to do this since we're using one whole piece. If we weren't using one whole piece, of course, I don't know that I'd do it that way. I might still, though. When I collage over edges and stuff, I do tend to, I do tend to make sure that I do that so you never know I might have done it too so now on this one we're gonna tuck this in to the inside oh, I'm getting everywhere we're gonna tuck this one inside of the envelope and just it goes right into that corner and squares off see okay and I'm just gonna make sure nice and press down now we have the top there we go see isn't that nice and this paper is so pretty so now what i did on this part and it worked so i was super excited because i was like okay what do i want to do here so you want to make sure that you're on the side that you want up right and so on this one i did pretty much the same thing i went over the edge as evenly and nicely as i could using the edge as my navigator and then bring this over like this. Gotta get, it. Gotta get it to stay there for you. Okay, and now we're gonna fold this one over as well. Okay, so 
piece on both sides. And we're going to go ahead. Oh, you know what I think I did? I think I did glue this piece. I'm pretty sure I did. And I'm going to snip this edge before I fold it. Now, <clears throat> pardon me. Let me see. Oh, yeah, like that. So now we're going to glue. all of this over. I'm just going to evenly put it right there on that corner, folding it in. Okay. Push that part over. And on this side, I'm going to, did I trim it off? I can't remember. Oh, you know what? I didn't do that the last time, but that's a good idea. Actually, I folded it onto the inside of the pocket the last time, but I like this. Look, it's glued to the back, and so the pocket is really even. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to trim this little, little tiny corner piece off. I want to make sure I get it. I don't want to cut into the paper, which I think I'm... There we go. Okay. And then we're just going to fold this over and glue it down. And I see a little bit, where's my, there it is, a little bit of white there. So I'm just going to distress that a tiny bit. Okay, and then throw some glue inside. See, the other one, I actually, before I folded the bottom up, I did all the folding onto the inside of the pocket. Okay, but I think I like this better because it's very clean, see? Now, what it did do, though, is it closed off this pocket. That's why you don't do that, unless you don't mind. Um, but I do mind, so. <laughs> so, because that's closing off this part, too. So what I'm going to do is pull this back instead, okay? Okay. And I'm going to do what I did before, which was tuck it into the inside, which I'll show you. And then that way, it's still closing off that one pocket, but it's not closing off your main pocket. Sorry to be so confusing. Ugh, I didn't. I confused myself, so I apologize. So anyway, this is now open. Okay. And that is tucked on the inside. Okay. And then... Let's pick, I usually pick a picture first, but I don't know if this one's big enough. I like it though. Not quite, it's not showing. Oh, she's cute. I wonder if she'll show right there. Oh, look, it's perfect. All right. Probably should have did this before, but I'm going to use my, I'm going to use the Aline's what is it called? I'll probably stop and hesitate when I say it. You know what I mean. <laughs> I can't think of the word. Y'all can yell it at me in the comments, okay? Let's get her. There we go. She is gorgeous. Now I want to make sure and not get any glue on the edges inside here. I think I'm safe. Yep. There we go. Isn't that pretty? These are fun. I like them. So there's that one. Now I'll just pick another piece of paper. <clears throat> Let's do butterflies. How about butterflies? Let's get our... I kind of actually think I'm going to make this my thing on these and just do the... Um, And just do the whole piece. I, like I said, I've never done that before. And so it's kind of cool. You know? So I think I'm going to just keep doing it. Let's see. Where can I? 
It's all right. I don't think the butterfly is going to land in the right spot, but the paper's pretty, so I don't think it'll matter much. Okay. You can also, if you have, um, or if you've access to sewing paper, uh, paper that you mark, do your markings on, marking paper for, for sewing, you can use that as well. You don't have to have carbon paper. That pack of carbon paper was really cheap, though. Um, it was like, I don't know, it was under $10 on the Amazon. All right. Is the only place I could get it. I mean, I can't. I couldn't find any anywhere around me at any stores, so I ordered it. And I do believe it's in my my shopping list in the link below in the description box of the video. So if you like it and decide you'd like to get some, if it's not there, if there's ever anything that I tell you about or show you and it, and it's not in my description box, just Hit me up and I'll send you the link. Okay, I'll send you the link for it, and then try to get it added into my into my Amazon shopping list. This is probably the most tedious part of doing them like this, but you know, collaging them is also can be kind of tedious. So I kind of like the way these look and like this without any break in the paper. I was going to use book page, but you know, now that I'm doing them, I'm like, oh, I kind of like this. It's pretty. Okay. So again, we're going to use the envelope and go around and just go down the side here and give it a cut. And this time I'm going to make sure not to close my middle pocket. So you'll get to see what I do to make sure that doesn't happen. <clears throat> okay. And now we're going to, let's see, this window's up a little higher, so. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead with this. There we go. Looks about right. <clears throat> let's go ahead and glue this up shut here. Tacky glue. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. I was thinking of sticky glue. I'm like, that's not what it's called. <laughs> I haven't said it in a while. I'm always using the art glue, you know, art journal or art glitter glue. <clears throat> we do our trim. Make sure and use your clean edge as your guide when you do all your folding. If you've got a clean edge on your paper, it makes life much easier than if you use a, you know, a crooked side. Yeah, I kind of chopped up the butterfly. I knew it would. I had a feeling. So, how's everybody been? I think I told, well, those of you who don't watch the devotions um, wouldn't know, but um, one of our cars died. Uh, my main car, our main car actually is our Prius, uh, the battery, gave out after, you know, we hit 210,000 miles, so that's about the time they start giving out. And so, yeah, I don't know exactly what we're going to do yet. I know Courtney does not want to put thousands of dollars back into it, so... You know, it's either, you know, fix it and hope that the transmission doesn't go. That's the problem. He's worried that something big will go out on it like that, you know, and we'll end up <clears throat> basically rebuilding the car. So we're talking about using it as a trade-in when we can kind of 
maybe build up some money and figure out his hours and, you know have been kind of sketchy lately they've been he's still been getting overtime but not like he was and so um there's my little scissors what I do with them oh there they are and so, yeah, we're not sure about buying a car and having an extra payment only because we're trying to save for the house. You know what I'm saying? We have everything that we have need of, but right now we kind of need a little extra is the problem. But yeah, the battery for that car is just so expensive. And he's like, uh-uh. And I agree, you know, I, I do. I agree. It's just a bit, a bit too much. So be praying for us because we need two vehicles. Now that impacts my uh, volunteering at church and it also impacts my going to um, the doctors. I'm going to have to try and get rides. And if I can't get rides, then it's going to be a lot of driving because he works 30 miles away from the house. So it would mean driving into town um, twice in a day because he goes to work so early in the morning there's really nothing for me to be able to do unless I guess I sat at Starbucks for literally hours until my doctor's appointments and then uh and then <laughs> I mean it's just a mess it's kind of a mess without two cars in Arizona anybody who lives here knows what I'm talking about and we live out in the rural area which makes it more difficult so <clears throat> yeah so I'm thinking this side's the side that's going to be tucking in. So I'm going to go ahead and trim. Is it, is it that one? You know what? I'm just going to do what I did. I'm going to do it right. Screw it down. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's get this one on here. It'll be easier, I think. Oh, no. No, no, no. Tacky glue will be better. Stays wet longer. So yeah, that's the big, oh, and then last night we we're watching, um, I was, we were laying on the bed, he was getting ready to go to sleep, and <laughs> um, we're talking, and all of a sudden, it's like we hear a pink, and our TV died, it just gone, just gone, like that, yeah, so, <laughs> it's like, okay, Lord, what's going on, but you know what, we were both talking about it this morning, and uh <laughs> we're kind of laughing because we feel like right now we're right in front of a miracle because you know things start to anybody out there who knows how it is to trust the Lord you know when things start to go haywire I feel like it's a time to be really worshipful and praise the Lord because the miracle is right in front of you and you know what I'm saying it's like we're we're right in front of the miracles. I don't know if it's an increase for him at work. I don't know if it's a a promotion, you know. I mean, it very well could be a promotion. It could be anything. But I know that there are blessings on the way. So, because I've been down this road too many times to even begin to doubt my Lord. And um, I always tell him, okay, honey, things are happening. So that means we're right in front of the miracle. And you know, it's like every time it's the Lord's just made a way somewhere where we, we see something come in, you know, a blessing come to us that we didn't expect. So that's, that's how we're seeing it. Praise God. Let's see here. Now, so I'm going to do the trim on this piece right here. Can't see the line. There it is. Just do a little, little snip. And we'll glue this one down. I like the way it makes this look, so I hope you guys try it. Let me know if you do. Oh, my neighbor's, not my neighbor, but not next door, but across the way is home. He loves to rev his engine and make his muffler go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> We've gotten used to him, but man, when we first moved in, it was like, okay, stop, see? Listen to that. He's a grown man. He acts like a child. He's like in his 50s. 
I'm serious. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> and whenever he comes home, <laughs> uh, when I first moved in here, it used to drive me nuts. And I'd go outside and be like, we're all so impressed. And my husband said, don't do that. I said, I know. I'm sorry. It just makes me so irritated. <laughs> I have a t I, I I catch myself, but I'm mouthy <laughs> at times. Sorry, it's true. Can't lie. I got more and more like my mother as I've gotten older. She was always very brave. I won't say I'm brave, but she was always the person who would tell the truth and tell you what she thought. And you know, and the older I've gotten, she predicted. She said, "When you get older." You'll, you won't worry about it so much. And she was right. This is the truth. Okay, so this edge is a little bit over. Darn, I didn't fold it quite right. And now I've already glued it down. Shucks. So I'm going to have to trim it. Oh, that's unfortunate. But it can't be helped because... Not too much. It's just that one little bit, it looks like. I think we'll be... Nope, it's not. It, it did not fold down completely on that edge. So I lost my little fun curve there, but I've got to make sure that that edge is even with my pocket, right? So, oh well. You win some, you lose some. You can't really, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's going to get distressed and everything. It'll be fine. Okay, now this time I want to do this correctly and not mess it up like I did before. Um... So we're going to go ahead and get myself in camera here, try to get this even. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and glue this part so that it's attached, but I'm going to cut this here. I'm making this difficult. I could have did this a little bit different. I apologize. Okay. Okay, so how I yeah, that's why. So how I did it was I cut this here, okay? And now we're gonna want to come over and fold this over using this side as my navigator. Again. So we don't want to lose that little side pocket. So we're not we're not gonna tuck. What we're gonna do is I think I just went ahead and trimmed that off the first time with my card and I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. That little tiny niche right there. Okay. I'm thinking, sorry, I have to concentrate for a second to remember how I did this. I'm going to go ahead and trim this down a little bit because it's a bit long. What time is it? Okay. Okay. And I'm going to fold this part over. Now see, on the other one, I went ahead and I glued this around the back and sealed myself shut. So that's what we don't want to do. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do my cuts. I want to save this piece. So I'm going to cut... Yeah, I'm just going to trim it right here by my opening, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and do what we did at the other side. And we're going to fold this piece over. Oops, wait, make sure it's even. I'm doing that uneven. There we go. To our corner. Get some glue on our little triangle there and tap that down. And then we'll fold this piece over. Now this is going to be on the inside of the pocket. Okay. You will see it in just a second. And then this side I'm going to do it like I did on up here on the other end.
All right now this piece is going to get tucked in oops there we go like the other that like this portion did okay now now you'll glue this part here leaving this open okay and you'll glue this side, so. And that's gonna leave you your pockets. Okay. So now you can see your butterflies on this portion. And I like to use my something firm to this side over here is a little bit over as well so I'm going to have to trim that just a touch there we go won't be a big deal we're going to we're going to be doing a I bent my corner a little bit on this end I kind of felt, thought I did okay I'm just making sure I'm not pushing too or opening it too much. I don't want to lose my seal, but just making sure no glue is holding that shut. And now I'm going to pick a picture for the inside. All right, guys, I had to drink some beet juice. I'm having some palpitations as we're doing this. Oh, sorry. Um, so I was thinking this little girl is uh, just about perfect. I'm going to trim just a tiny bit of her off there. But it's got the greens, and then it just kind of looks like she's standing in the middle of a butterfly garden. <laughs> See? I want to take a little tiny bit more. I'm trying to get her little hands into the picture here with her little watering. She's got a watering bucket. I don't know if you can see that. It's so sweet. All right. Let's see. There we go. And I wanted her little shoes and her ribbon there. I think that that'll do it. Yeah. So praise God. She's adorable. So let's put some glue on the back here. And sneak her in there. Yes, my neighbor is just having a ball outside of his car, his van, I think it's his van. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm serious. He he's probably working on a via he's probably working on it or something knowing him. But it's very annoying for my video. Sorry if you guys can hear it clearly. It's very loud in here for me, so I'm assuming you can hear him. Anyway, so there is that one. Oh, isn't she pretty? This is sweet. I like her. Look at that. So there's number two, and it's taken me a minute. These are a little bit time consuming. I've only done two with you guys, but I think they're really worth it. Um, I have tons of different paper over here to use. I'm just kind of. So I did the butterfly, and I got. Let's see. Let's do one. Let's do. These are all very gardeny papers I have chosen over here. I'm just kind of here. I'll let you see. See, so not wondering what in the world I'm looking at. Got my 12 by 12. So I've already used that one and that one. And we've got this one. Now, polka dots. <clears throat> um, that one won't be big enough. Let's see. This one I like. It's a little bit thicker. I haven't used... This is a regular cardstock feel to it, so I'm not sure how good it would do. As you can see, I have, oh, I have another piece of that one. I have a bunch of garden-type papers. I love this paper. I've almost used it all up. 
and more butterflies, so we're not going to use that one this time. There's more of a grungy feel. Oh, this one's fun. That one's very grungy. We've got some postcards. Hmm. Peachy color and this one with flowers. Looks like wallpaper to me. I like this one and I like the maps. Hmm. I do like the maps. Maybe I should try a thicker piece to see how good it works. Yeah. When I when I started out this video, I was intending on doing uh, collages too, but then discovering this this style, I decided I really like it. So I think I'm just gonna stick with it for a while. I'm grab an envelope here. I don't know what I was thinking. I brought like eight envelopes. I'm like, yeah, right. I was going to get that many done. Ooh, those palpitations are kind of strong right now. I don't like that, you guys. You know I don't like that. It's very aggravating. Let's see here. Oh, my goodness. Listen to him. Slamming stuff around. Okay, there we go. This envelope window is a little bit bigger. This is where my electric bill comes in. Anybody else have APS? Or I don't think they're called APS in others. This is Arizona Public Service is what it stands for, so. I doubt it. I'm sure, though, it's probably the same company, uh, just called something else and where you're from. Yay, did it. Good. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start the cut. I'm hoping I did that in the right spot. Um, sorry that I'm not feeling hot right this second. I'm feeling a little bit weak. It, those palpitations always, <clears throat> they always weaken me and make me have headaches and stuff. So hopefully my beet juice will kick in here in a second and make it stop. before I get a headache. I don't have one yet. There we go. I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit crooked. Not too, too bad. Let me grab my drink again, guys. Okay. Kind of cool. The window's like right in the center of that map. That's very cool how that turned out. You know, I was just thinking I could have maybe cut this crooked earlier and that's why oh see I knew I should have glued that <laughs> oh dang it I didn't glue it 
always glue it down first because then you because you need that to keep your envelope having a piece of paper there don't do what I did now I'm having to come back on it and glue this down <laughs> silly girl silly silly girl hopefully I can do this <laughs> I'm a tad bit off I'm a tad bit off and my paper is already glued. Oh, Tara, Renee. Yep. Try again. Okay. I think I'll just grab another envelope, maybe. No, because I already got my paper cut. Never mind. We'll figure this out. It'll work. It'll work. Watch. There. Just throw a little extra here. There. All right. There we go. Perfecto. She knew she could do it. <laughs> no, she didn't. I hoped I could do it. All right. <clears throat> now. <sighs> This where it belongs and then fold it up okay paper's thicker so it is giving me a little bit harder time in folding I need to message one of my friends from church and see she actually lives in Coolidge and see if I can get a ride with her on Sunday morning to go teach the kids because I go earlier than Cordy on every other Sunday. Otherwise, he's going to have to go and sit through both services, which he's really not looking forward to doing, So, which is understandable, you know, so... Possibly, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just, I don't know, go and then just miss service this week till we figure something out. We're just not, you know, we're, we're nervous to make a commitment to a car payment because we're already kind of tight and, you know, not super, I mean, we're not hurting or anything, but it could be where it would get really tight if we if we do a car payment. You know what I'm saying. It's just a matter of figuring out the right course to take, I guess. We've all been there. I mean, my goodness, how many cars have I had break down and had to buy a new car? You know, I can't even count. There's been so many in my lifetime, right? <clears throat> I know it'll all come together for the good. It's just while you're while you're waiting to figure it out, it's like, okay, well, I've got to accommodate for this and for this. Like today, I was invited to go minister. I was I was bummed about this because I was this was one of my things I was going to tell you guys today. I had um, with our homeless ministry, I was going to be helping to do the devotions along with pastor Jeff who's our care pastor at our church and he actually I was going to be doing like his off days at this new place that um, our servant's heart ministry for the homeless is going to be going and helping out well he invited me today to go with him and to start doing every like Fridays when he's not going to be able to be there or every other Friday possibly well, I can't say yes because I don't have a car. <laughs> I, was, I was like, okay, Lord, well, I guess it wasn't time right now. So, but I was looking forward to that. And so that was a bummer. Okay, I've got to try and get this to corner off without bending my envelope. Okay, good, I did it. 
Now, because this is <clears throat> paper that is much thicker, it's going to change your, you know, the way you do it just slightly. It'll be a little bit harder to, you know, manipulate, but it can be done. I'm holding this corner down with my fingernail and bringing the paper up to my nail so that I don't fold my paper. Okay. I'm thinking with this one, I'm going to use one of my pictures I have from uh, my gentleman's kit from Taddy Treasures and, and from Collage Type. Tanya and, and uh, Nanine that I worked on all that, that one journal I did. I'm thinking that that would be cool to have one of those guys inside of this envelope. So that'll be three, which isn't a lot. However, it, um, yeah, this can be a little bit thick with all this excess. Well, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, this should be fun with the, with a guy in this one. So that'll be a little girl and then one with a lady and then one with just a background and then one with a guy. A gentleman. Vintage gentleman. So yeah, I think that'll be fun. <clears throat> what time is it? Okay. I want to decorate one, but I'm running a little bit close on my time. Now we want to make sure and cut this corner here. I don't think I actually folded that that way. I didn't. <clears throat> there. Okay. Bring that up along that edge. And then this part. good enough. I'm just going to press it real good. And then, of course, this piece looks like it's hanging over just slightly from there. I'll go ahead and tuck this in. Did I forget to fold this? Of course I forgot to fold it first. Why wouldn't I forget to fold it first? It's me, after all. So I am just oh, upset about that because this paper is so thick. And I don't want to leave extra over the edge, which I think I did because it's so thick. I can't help it. Probably did. So when I fold this up, see, it's going to be, yep, I'm going to have to trim this off, which stinks. It's a bummer. I liked how that looked. Oh, okay. So note, you guys, that when you use thicker paper, make sure you get all of your folds in place. I mean, it did strengthen it right here, but and that's where they'll be coming in from because this piece, of course, will be glued to the to the piece, you know, to your page. Anyways, still a little bit off. I see. Okay. Good job, Mama. I heard the Elvis song in my head. That's all right, Mama. That's all right. <laughs> okay. I'm done. Anyway, <laughs> this map is going this way, but on the paper, it was like this. So we're going to do it sideways because I don't have enough paper if I don't. I'm going to go ahead and use this edge, fold it over, <clears throat> okay. Oh. 
Oh, I like this one though. It's gonna be pretty once I'm done with it. It's just a matter of making sure I get all of my folds and everything glued down correctly. So let's go ahead and glue this on. So that way I'm it's not moving all over the place when I I'll just go ahead and trim. trim this off. Yeah, with this one, I'm just going to go ahead and cut these two pieces off of here. I didn't, I did that only on the one side with the other one, but just because I don't, because the paper's so thick, I don't want to be dealing with it. So I'm going to do the same on this. I'm going to open this up and fold it over so I have a line Okay, I'll show you what I mean in a sec. I'm sure most of you know what I mean already, but I'm going to trim, I'm going to miter these corners this time, which I did not do. I folded them over before, but it's just too much thickness there where you're going to be gluing this down, I think, personally. But you're still going to get that reinforcement you know, and those cleaner edges. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh wait, let's do this. Duh. Let's glue it to the actual piece first. Okay. Then we'll put this on here and glue this down. So technically you've seen me do almost like three different things in my doing this. And this time I'm gonna glue the inside down first because I think it'll be easier um, before I move any of this into a, into a pocket. Now this piece, okay, this is coming off because it's fighting with me. It's too thick, it's gonna rip my envelope. Don't want that. So you may wanna do a little diamond cut there at your corner so it doesn't do that to you. Okay, and now this can go down. Okay, and then we glue our edges. Just getting enough on there, I wanna make sure. There. Oh, I like this one. It's a little bulky, like I said, but I love the map. Now we gotta find, and we're gonna distress. Like around these edges where it's white. I used a lot of glue, so I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. Oops, so I guess the edge. There we go. Now, yes, this did make it nice and sturdy, this paper. Making sure this is open, because that glue seeps a little bit when you glue that edge down. It seeps up and kind of gets into that little crevice there. And you don't want that pocket shut, because it's cute. It's a cute little side pocket. Okay, <clears throat> now, 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 Tara. Time to choose an, an image for the gentleman. And I have a, a ton of them. So let's find the right one, shall we? I still have a bunch, because I, I don't know if you remember when I did that journal, I ended up, uh, I ended up doing like, let me get one that's more of a yellowy, maybe a really bright white. And they're not big enough. Anyway, I ended up copying, making a couple, oh, he's cool. I ended up making a couple of copies because I did so many. And this guy's a good guy. He's kind of bright. Let me see. Well, it has it look coming through. Let's see. Oh, let's see this one. Oh, wait. Well, gosh. 
This one's a full body. I like that. Can you see them okay? Yeah. And then this one, he's sitting down. He's and he's that yellow color that I wanted. He's not to me, he's not quite as handsome as that guy, but let's see. I think I will use him though. He's kind of perfect setting and everything for this one. Yeah, all these are frames. Yeah, all the rest are frames. So, okie dokie. He's our guy. Did I have others? I'm just looking. Nope, those, that was my stack. Okay. His, the yellow of the background, and then you can see his whole picture, so I just like that. And you can, of course, glue your picture in for your window way before I do. I actually, the first one, I did glue it in at the beginning. Um, but I'm just kind of, I don't want this to seep at all. Just kind of pushing it down so it doesn't move around as much once I get it in there. Okay. There we go. Kind of perfect. Yep, he's a good one for this. That is a good one. Okay, so I think, I don't even think we really have time to decorate, do we? Let's go ahead and do a little distressing around this thing. I really like these with the whole piece like this. I'm going to use an envelope and tuck it in here. Oops. I'm seeing where that's not glued down. Okay. No, yeah, wait. Let's do it like this. I'll do this end. I'm wondering, do I need more glue right here? I'm going to go ahead and put a little extra. Just kind of hold these corners down when you've got the paper so thick you know you got to really let that dry <clears throat> now what do we want to use for decoration super quick here um hmm. i love this i love this gold on stuff like this, this color. But I'm not sure. Let me see my little thing here. Oh, you know what? I've got all, that'd be cool. I've got all these uh, little Tim Holtz thingies that would look good. Like a traveling type thing. And let me see if I have if I have my Tim Holtz bag with my with like fussy cuts in it. Possibly. I'm just looking really quick here. them out but I don't see them now. Nope. Done. I have like Tim Holtz fussy cuts too that came out of his like the kits, you know. But I'm looking here real quick in this bag. I could have sworn that this is all the big P 
pieces I have. So, yeah, not, not, not what I want. Have to go with this stuff. I think these are kind of cool, though. We'll do a little bit of uh, collaging around here. Just to get kind of a fun look. These just kind of look like, I don't know, guy stuff, you know, <laughs> that look to me. I have some books in here. Oh, wait, I have this. Let's see. I have some little signs in here. Maybe I have something. <clears throat> you never know, right? Why not? Up here in the corner. Give it some numbers. And what's all these? Stamps. Boy, you can tell I'm, all of a sudden it just hit me and I didn't feel good. I can always tell. I'm looking to make sure I have this going the right direction here. I was thinking maybe do some script in the background. Not a ton, but I wonder, I might do some of the, the little dots, you know, that look like it's got stuff sprinkled on it. I 
Just glancing through here to see if there's anything I could put on here that looks better than these. I like these. I haven't used them in a long time either, so I just kind of like... They're so tiny and cute. I'm not probably going to put any of the gold on there. This is going to be more, be more manly than that. <laughs> I think the majority of this is going to be just some fun little collaging on it. So I hope you guys like these and that you uh, feel inspired to give them a try. I think they're pretty fun way to do our envelopes. Like I said, I've, I've never covered any envelope with an entire one piece of anything. So that was different for me and I liked it. I definitely um, will be doing these again some point. Let's see if I have any <clears throat> cool phrase or something to go down like the side right here. I have all these long, longer strips. this one and then overlap it on something yeah I'll show you what I mean in just a sec I wanted to see how this would look. I thought this might be fun. I haven't used this stamp in a long time and I love it. This little guy, I love this stamp so much. I find it very fun to have splatters and you know I think we all do <laughs> and just make it look old and okay so there is my piece my uh, junk mail triple pocket I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed these and that you'll give them a try. Here's the other two we did. We have the beautiful lady and we have the precious little girl in the garden. And so, yeah, you've got, you've got your triple here, which is awesome. I like him. I think he turned out kind of fun. 
So I love you guys. Thank you for joining me today. And please hit like and subscribe to the channel and become a part of the Terrace Take family. And um, share these videos if you can. And I love you and appreciate you very much. God bless you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.